Hello people, this is Power here with a review of the Ultraman Rube DX Rube Crystal Set 02 or 2 to be basic. So this is the second Rube Crystal Set to be released. Um, it was released alongside the Ultra Fusion, uh, the Ultra, the Rube Crystal holder. So this set includes X, Leo, Red King, and Gargoyron. I believe that's his name. <laughs> I know I gave him the wrong name when I unboxed it, but obviously Ultraman Rube, Rube Crystal Set 2, and all the functionality with the Rube Gyro and the Rube Slugger. So let's just get this over with and a huge jump cut. So here are the crystals out of their packaging. I know the order is supposed to be Leo and X, but because I want to go chronological order, so. Anyways, here's Ultraman Leo. Um, again, he's pretty neat. He's one of my favorite show Ultraman because he does martial arts, and his design overall is just pretty cool. Like, I really like Ultraman Leo. Um, I don't know what his kanji is saying, but I really like his background. Um, with. The, Lights and such, and I didn't click that in completely. Um, obviously that's his Ultraman Lyle. His is red, um, just because. Russell formation. Blue formation. And all of them. And he is B024. Now, on to... X, one of my favorite um, Ultraman design wise. Um, again, he's green because um, that's his new color that he's represented by, which I I don't understand why. I don't remember if no, I think yeah. And starting with Jeed, he his color that he got re represented by was green. I don't know. I don't understand why Ultraman are represented by green, but anyways, <laughs> Ultraman X, I don't know what this kanji is saying. Like, it's not bad, but, you know, I'm, I don't know, like, him being represented by yellow just made more sense than green, but then again, um, this is going to come back later on. Um, he is B04. Okay, so our kaijus of the set. Here's Red King. Um, obviously, um, you probably know Red King because of the fact that he was a fusion with Gormra and Jeed to create Skull Gormra. I don't know why I needed to mention that, but anyways. Um, obviously it's a kaiju, so I'm going to flip them all out. And he is B0... 84. Last but not least, here's Gargoyon. <laughs> I think he came from X, but I don't know. The only thing I can know from X are the cyber kaijus. Anyways, he's represented by this blue, which is pretty neat. And he is B100. That That's significant. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's insert these in the Rube Jaro. Here's our Rube Jaro. Again, we're going to do Leo first because I'm um, doing by chronological order. Yeah, um, so that's a red and white combination. Like what I said before, I'm not going to do the second polls on these. If you want that, watch my demos. So then, blue. It feels so weird not doing the second poll, but then again, I don't want to extend time.
So that just creates a purple color and such. But obviously that's his transformation. It's pretty simple. This is why I'm only gonna do two pulls. So we're gonna do X. So. It's still really cool to hear that in such a low quality speaker. <laughs> and that's obviously um that's kind of why I don't want to do like four pulls so then you keep constantly hearing that. Despite how like great X's transformation sound is, I don't think you guys want to hear it four times. So the blue formation. Again, like, X is just one of my favorite transformation jingles, <laughs> which is, which, I really want an X divisor, but I can't because that's old. So obviously our kaiju crystals, you just insert them like normal. The yellow and purple mix is really cool looking. Like it's the yellow and purple mixing basically makes it into a green and purple. Which is pretty cool. Obviously last but not least, um Gar Gorgon, I hope that's his name. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I feel like this is his first, um, gimmick thing that he's gotten because I don't think he got a big capsule or ultra capsule but anyways um let's look into the Rube Slugger for X so obviously we're going to start in the Russell formation because um Russell's the first one I used it after like what um 14 episodes Zadadum, Zadadum, cult, Zadadum, Sonic, Zadadum, Sonic. It's it's just so cool to hear it. <laughs> but anyways, the blue formation. Um, I feel like X is the most shafted out of these because like he's just so out of place because obviously you got Ultra Seven and then Ultraman Zero and then X. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Spark Attack. Yeah, Spark Attacker. Yeah, because I don't know. I kept he hearing it as 
Spark Attacker. But see, now it's actually coming to me why it's called Spark Attacker. Like, obviously, the Spark Attacker because of Spark Dolls, and the Attacker because of Attacker X. But that's a nice nod. Again, overall, I'll say you should probably pick the setup due to the fact it comes with X. So you kind of need him if you got the Roop Slugger. And also just because it comes with two more in-show Kaiju Crystals. And again, um, you actually need Red King because Red King is actually one of one of the important Kaijus. And like, Loyal is just kind of here just because. So... Um, I, again, like set one, I like this set. It's a pretty neat selection. Um, there's not really much I have to say. Like, I really like X's crystal because obviously I like his transformation. I like the sound he produces and the Roop Slugger. And I really like these two Kaijus, even though they're not, like, in my opinion, they're, these two choices aren't as good as, like, Grucha Bone and Black King. But, you know, they're still pretty cool Kaiju crystals. And, Again, like, I really like Ultraman Leo. I need to actually watch the show, but I need to actually watch the Ultra series. From beginning to, technically, Ginga. So I'm missing that gap, and I guess Power, I'm only four episodes. Anyways, that'll be it for this review. So this is Power Rider, and I'll leave it people. Bye.